plaintiff, Janelle Slama, became friends with the defendant after meeting on a bus. And soon after, Janelle and her son moved in with the defendant. However, Janelle only lived there 15 days. And during that time, the defendant gave her two eviction notices. She's suing for property, an illegal eviction, and emotional distress. Defendant Susan Jones allowed Janelle to move in with her because she was struggling financially and talking about going back to work as a prostitute. Susan's countersuing for the value of an iPhone and lost wages. Start with you. Well, I met Susan Jones about five years ago on the Greyhound bus. We exchanged phone numbers, became friends over the phone and via Facebook. More recently, she invited me to come live with her in Indianapolis in her um, in her, the apartment or the house that she rents. You needed a place to stay or something? Um, no, How I did didn't. How did that come up then? How did that Well, she was come offering up? me um, a, a, a job in addition to a cheaper place to live. I was having some financial so problems, I, but I, I, I really went because she was offering to train me. So you me. did need a place, but you were having financial problems? Yes. Okay, and you all lived in the same town at that no, time? No, I was living in Lubbock, Texas, okay. in my own place. Uh-huh. So she invited. I don't know where how far that is from. It's where 17 she hours from her okay. house. So I I packed up my Yukon with my son and under drove what 17 hours. Under what agreement or presumption? That I would be staying there um, until the end of the school year. She told you that? Yes, she even put it in writing. Okay. And she said, uh, "You can come to town. You can stay with me." Well, to add to the story, I I left my husband. Mm -hmm. I'm going through a divorce. She at the time was going through a divorce as well, mm -hmm. but she's back and forth with that with her husband. So when I originally went, it was supposed to is be- Is this him? Is this your husband? Yes. Yes, sir. All right, yes, so Honor. back and forth, so he's back today. <laughs> he's back today. All right, so Mari <laughs> might be fourth. That's what you're saying. Yes. Back, fourth, back, okay. Go it's ahead. highly likely. She's kind of back and forth with a lot of things. Left my husband. I'm going through a divorce. She at the time was going through a divorce as well, mm -hmm. but she's back and forth with that, with her husband. Is this him? Is this your husband? Yes. yes, sir. All right, yes, sir. so back and forth, so he's <laughs> back today. <laughs> he's back today. All right, so might be fourth, that's what you're saying. Defendant Susan Jones is being sued by her former friend, who she claims used to work as a prostitute. Okay, so what happened with you? So I drove the 17 hours to her house with my six-year-old son and all of this stuff I could fit in my Yukon. Mm -hmm. And in about 17 minutes, it became apparent to me that I made a big mistake. Um, she's not at all who she portrayed herself to be over the phone or on Facebook. That's a performance um, that I, you I bought. You hadn't had a personal association spending some significant time together she came, before she came you... to visit me twice in waterloo uh where i was living before and we went out to eat both times that how that far apart is waterloo from seven you? hours so she drove seven hours she's a truck driver so she had okay. a load yeah got it all and right it, so it was convenient for got it to meet a friend an yeah. internet friend and i was excited okay. like oh cool we get to see Good each other enough. in person yeah all right so um, anyway, when I showed up, the problem, the problem basically is that she, um, she's very controlling, very manipulative. No, when you showed up, you knew 17 minutes. <laughs> well, How long did it take you? To... It didn't take very, I was only there like 15 days total. Okay. And within those 15 days, she gave me two eviction notices. And it was whenever I didn't want to do what she wanted me to do or live the way she wanted what me to do. What was the live. agreement on you living there? How much? There wasn't, I, she said as long as her husband was paying the rent, I didn't have to. Oh, but then And you if said... that changed, we'd talk about it later. And so I tried to pay attention to their relationship and I was like, just get along because the rent's coming up on the first, just get along, you know? <laughs> I, to be honest with you. Right, I know that's right. <laughs> I had my six year old with me, Don't mess up before you know? the first. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Ma'am, let me hear from you. This is very odd. Go ahead. <laughs> Yes, sir. Um, she's right. We we met on a Greyhound, and we've been friends for a few years, mainly over the phone. And um, she was facing some financial difficulty in in Texas. She w left her husband. She was staying in an apartment she got for herself after um, where her daughter lives in Lubbock. And she couldn't afford it, the place. And she was facing homelessness. And she was talking about going back to prostitution. So then what I told... What do you mean back to... How do you know she was a prostitute prior to that? Well, she had... 
she had talked about she had she been admitted that to you before yes okay. before in previous conversations in he her had been trafficked saying that in well. her earlier life that's what she did okay yeah and she that's had been not true. she had been trafficked as well i was kidnapped that's different i was kidnapped so was. there's Certainly two different is. circumstances very big difference there's two Let's there's explain this so you don't just say yeah, disparaging to... things about her and it's not clear. What mm -hmm. do you, you say there's two different, two yeah, she different said what? She said to me that she was going to go back to prostitution. Uh -huh. That was her wording uh -huh. to that. So I don't know I if it was that. all just trafficking or if she even, yeah. the sounded like in our previous conversation. She never said I was kidnapped. She did say that. There was two different... So she said, I'm going to go back to being kidnapped. kidnapped right. No, she said, make I want to go sense. back go to ahead, prostitution. Go ahead, ma'am. Your Honor, I'm talking about two... There's two different situations, with all due respect. One time where she was prostituting, another time where she had been when? kidnapped. Back it up. What do you have to back that up with? Because yeah. you're, you're just being vindictive right yeah. now. Yeah, I'm being vindictive. Ma'am, what this do you have doing... to back that up? I'm like her. What do you have I'm to going... back up the fact that at a later time, she did it voluntarily? She denies that. Never. You tell me where you get that information from. From her. All right, let's that's move on. From let's our verbal conversation. Ma'am, let's over... move on. Okay, let's that's, move that's on. That's fine, because we... Mm -hmm. We opened our home because mm -hmm. I didn't want her and her son out on the street. Mm -hmm. I didn't want her to have to go back to What was the agreement? For her to come and stay while she got her tax return. She was going to look for a place in Indianapolis and relocate there. It's closer to her uh -huh. son's father. And she That's was going to get her, use her tax How return and move she, into How long did you understand her to be staying? A week or two, two weeks. Okay. You intended for her or expected that it might be a she couple a of weeks, few guest. weeks at the most. All yes, right. She was a and what guest. did happen when she moved in? When she moved in, she was completely different than what she told me. She was sitting drinking all day. She needs That's help. She's an alcoholic. She drinks from morning to night and she's smoking marijuana. That she bought for we me. Run our she own bought business, me the marijuana. She bought want... me the marijuana. She I bought me the marijuana and we drank together. We had divorce parties. Under what circumstances She's, was she smoking nice that you did not like? She was smoking in my backyard. If you she didn't like it, why didn't you buy it? Buy it? House. I don't allow that stuff in my home. In your backyard? Yes, in my backyard with her six-year-old okay. running around. No, he was in With bed, her six-year-old? Her six-year-old All right, but around. the point is you don't allow anyone to smoke weed in your backyard outside. If somebody wants to smoke... Man, yeah. that's what you were yes. upset about, her smoking weed outside in your backyard. Yes, on my property. All right. Now, do you smoke weed? No, I do not. All right. Do you ever have it in your possession? No, I do not. All right. And you never bought her any? No, I did not. I have okay, proof. Okay, good enough. You I do have, have proof. proof? I have some proof. I hope this isn't proof because this you're going to lose your case oh, immediately oh. for perjury. He said as long as her husband was paying the rent, I didn't have to. Oh. But and if that said... changed, we'd talk about it later. And so I tried to pay attention to their relationship, and I was like, just get along because the rent's coming up on the first. Just get along, you know? <laughs> I, to be honest with you. Right, I know that's you right. Know. I have my six-year-old with up me, you know? the first. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Defendant Susan Jones is being sued by her former friend, who she claims used to work as a prostitute. Let me see that Hold proof. On. We can get rid of this case real quick. And I hope you have the proof that you claim you I have. I have it, I have it. All right. Right here. In... This is text messages between me and the yeah. uh, man yeah. that we yeah. bought the weed from. What yeah. the devil is? You said you were gonna prove something. I with am her. in there, in what? there, in there, in there. Those text messages. I told him, let me see if my girl will give me the twenty, which she did later. Did you later say her here, name? Give me you the twenty. Okay. Give you the twenty, not buy 20, it for $20 you. Twenty dollars to buy the Give you the weed. twenty for you to buy. And then he came. Oh, he You're claiming okay. dismissed, ma'am, for perjury. Have a good day. Yours is granted for perjury. <laughs> bye. You, Nobody playing games with you. Sorry for you that you won't face the truth. I opened my home to you. I paid for everything for you and your son. You most of the time I was having to discipline your own Why? son. Why? Why did you give do him that? Food because you Why did you open up your home to me? To Why? help you because you needed help. And, and this is what you call help. 